This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Hi everyone, I bought this RC car online and we are going to make it drive on the ceiling. It weighs 2135 grams. It's quite fun to drive. In fact, uh, half of the parts are already broken because I had too much fun. It has a very nice suspension, but I will probably have to mess with it. It has very good traction. But not as good as to be able to stick to ceilings. So we will have to do some modifications. The first thing that I've done is remove all the unnecessary parts that were inside of the car and with that we've saved uh, some weight, 166 grams, well that's something. Let's see what else we can do to transform this into the real Batmobile, like, just, like bats hangs from to sleep, like, did you get it? My first idea was to go with a side-by-side -side configuration, one set of these on each side, and I, I did print a, a, a few of these just to make some tests. I even blew this one because the, the propeller did hit the cables because, well, a disaster. But uh, I wasn't totally convinced about it, so I went for this one. This one has two counter-rotating propellers on each side, just in case I need even more pressure, so I can add a second row of these ones on the sides. And this one wasn't without its own troubles. <coughs> I did burn one of the ESCs and, and one motor of camera. But it's time to see if this one has enough pushing force on it, so let's, let's have some fun. It seems that it doesn't have enough pushing force and uh, well in my calculations we should have like one and a half kilos left of, of pushing force and I, I'm not really sure where the issue is. So to check if my theories are correct, we are going to make a small scale test with this small RC car in here, this really tiny, and see if, if, if it works. But first, let's talk about today's video sponsor, NordVPN. When you are connected to that airport Wi-Fi, that coffee shop Wi-Fi, you better be protected because you don't know who could be snipping on your credit card information, your personal data, and that's what NordVPN can do for you. Protect your internet connection no matter where you are or to which Wi-Fi you are connected. Encrypting your data and keeping you safe. Other feature that I like a lot from NordVPN is the possibility to pop up in any of the multiple servers that they have around the world just to browse the internet as if you were there. For example, when I'm abroad, 
I can pop up in the Spain server and see if all my servers and work related stuff is working in here. So to start using all the NordVPN features and browse the internet safely, go to nordvpn.com slash Ivan Miranda and get a 75% off of a three year plan, which makes it less than $3 a month and use the promo code Ivan Miranda to get an additional month for free. And now back to the build. I think this is the first time that I do a project inside a project, a, a mini project inside a project. Not bad. 368 grams. It has suspension. Not bad at all. This one is 20 euros, the other one is 150. This is RTR ready to run and the other one still needs batteries and a remote. So for the price, this is, this is not bad at all. Let's go with the modifications. The small scale experiment is finished. LiPo battery, two ESCs, radio, and I removed the batteries and substituted them for a DC DC converter from the battery. So it weighs even less. Uh, so let's go under the table and make a test. Okay, the moment of truth. <laughs> it doesn't have much grip, so it's a bit hard to drive, but let's let's try again. Well, it did help indeed. Uh, <laughs> I think I broke the DC DC converter, so the receiver and the car are not getting any any voltage. I will fix that. But most important, I, I was going with a 3S battery, 12 volts, and it seemed that it was just enough for it to work. So I will I will swap one of the ESCs, which is not rated for 6S, which hasn't been good in the past and try again with double the voltage just to see if it is more drivable and doesn't fly away. Okay, this, this is insane. This is officially overkill. That's loud. Okay, let's go, let's go under the table again. Just to see if this flies away. Okay, now, now, now I'm scared. I just want to know if it's going to stick to the wall. Yes, it does. Don't, don't try this at home, <laughs> please. Well, right now I'm, I'm wondering how much thrust does this thing produce? Let, let's try and find out. I'm 
from the future. So now I know that I did post a question earlier in the video asking you whether you recognize what was the mistake that I did in the design of the big car. And now I will tell you what it was. And you will see if you guessed it in the comments. The, the leading edge of the propellers has to be mounted on the proper direction. If you try to pull air with the trailing edge, it makes a lot of noise and uh, you lose lots and lots of efficiency mounting the propellers backwards. So now I will go back to the big car with what I've learned with this small one because I should, I should easily get six kilos of thrust with this kind of setup and that only weighs 4.8 kilos. Should be more than enough. So let's get to it. By the way, the, I couldn't RC drive the car because the DCDC converter that I installed to save weight on the batteries was disconnecting because it was the car was requiring too much power from it. That's why uh, it, it fell off because I was using the, the DC DC converter as a BEC to power the receiver, which shoot off and gave me the scar. So back to the big one. Okay, I have 6S batteries, 6S ESCs. Everything works as it should, and I've done a test under the table. And it seems to hold. So there is only one thing left to try. <laughs> Put this thing on the ceiling. And I, I, can, I can assure you that I didn't think this through when I got the idea for the video. So please don't try this at home. Okay, let's go for the most absurd test that I've ever done. And where I will probably lose the car and everything. Let's go. I need to wear ear protection for that. I hear nothing now. My ears. <laughs> I have fingers and head. We'll put ear protection and try again. Oh, that was loud. <sighs> switch off, switch off. Woo. Okay, extremely stupid test number two.
<laughs> I had to do a recovery from the ceiling, stopping the propellers and catching it. <laughs> That's really, really, really scary. Uh, now I will try and make it go in the wall, which is a little bit harder because you don't, because you need lots of grip, but I think this has enough power. So let's see if I can make it run in the, in the wall. I, I just painted, by the way, so I'm going to ruin all that I've done. This was a bad idea. That was <laughs> scary. The thing, the thing with the ceiling is that it's not big enough. And I've been trying to find one that was big enough without pipes or lights or anything. And it was really hard. So I did a test on my, on my ceiling. It stays there and it moves. But as soon as I hit anything, the, this RC car is not a crawler. So it doesn't have much torque to start walking. So excuses. It was really, really, really scary. So it sticks to the ceiling, drives on the ceiling. <laughs> Yay! In the wall, you need much more pressure against it to, to force the grip into the tires. You know, surface pressure and uh, the, the suspension bulges before uh, having uh, enough grip. And <laughs> half of the car is destroyed and it wasn't that much of a hit. So I will, I will call this a win because it's my channel. <laughs> this was a win. Of all my fingers, <laughs> a win. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check the link on the description to get 75% off of a three-year plan, which makes it less than $3 a month. And use the promo code Ivan Miranda to get an additional month for free. And thanks a lot to all my Patreon supporters for allowing me to keep doing this kind of stuff. Thank you. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. And now please go and make something!